Good evening everyone. So tonight I've got a, another video. Uh, this is a uh, eBay purchase that I made. Uh, I sometimes just will cruise on eBay just browsing vinyl albums and records and stuff and um, I'll take a gamble from time to time as you saw in one of my previous videos. Um, if I think you know there's some auctions out there with some at records that are look like they're in decent shape and the price is low I'll just throw a bit out there and um, you know basically you know just kind of walk away from it and if I win I win and if I don't I don't it's no big deal and um, sometimes I've come away with some really good really really good stuff for really cheap um, this is gonna be a bunch of Willie Nelson records um, I have no Willie Nelson albums and I'm not a huge country fan, but I do uh, respect the old, you know, Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson and Merle Haggard and, you know, those guys, Hank Williams. So, um, you know, I thought, I actually was kind of researching the Willie Nelson records and the ones that, um, you know, the most popular or whatever. And, you know, basically it, it, all the signs pointed to Redheaded Stranger. So I started researching that and... You know, to get a, like, reissued copy of Redhead Stranger, it's, like, $30. And, um, so I went on eBay, and I was hoping I might be able to land one for, you know, a low price. And I came across this lot, and it was, uh, basically totaled $16. And it was nine Willie Nelson records. And based off the description, it seemed like they were in good shape. Um, so, you know, you're kind of basing your purchase on somebody else's opinion of what the albums are in, you know, the shape is. So, you know, I'm hoping that, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it looks. It's kind of one of the fun parts of it. 16 bucks. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, that's a decent amount of money to spend on something that you're not sure what you're getting, but I think Stardust is in here too. And I think the guy said that was near mint, near mint. So, that um, alone might be worth it. This packaging wasn't, and that's another thing you have to kind of worry about is, you know, is the person selling it know how to pack it? And the packaging is a little bit kind of domed. Should be worried. Let's see how he packaged this. Well, he did a good job of bubble wrapping it. Sorry about that. This box is pretty large, so I'm trying to balance this camera while I'm opening it. But I've got, I think, the contents out here. So get rid of the box and don't be so. Such a bumpy ride. Sorry about the sniffles too. It's just the season for flu-like symptoms. Well, so I mean, it's not too bad. He did a good job of bubble wrapping it. Definitely seen worse job. I mean, I guess if it's nine records. daughter will enjoy playing with that. Not bad. Looks like a... Uh, don't judge a book guy's cover as far as the shipping. Looks pretty good inside. Alright, so we got Always On My Mind. Let's kind of get this positioned a little bit better. Sorry. So 
we've got the shrink wrap on it and the original price tag of six dollars and ninety six cents now I'm I'm not again I'm not a very familiar with Willie Nelson records like I said I just kind of went around and looked and Redheaded Stranger was the one that um, I was really kind of going after when I found this so if any of these are like really good uh, I know the song always on my mind that's one of my favorites of Nelson as is many of us so that was kind of nice to see that it's got the original inner sleeve pretty good shape and the final and you know what this is going to be a little educational thing here I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do this here so let's get this light right here if you are new to vinyl and <clears throat> you're not sure what to look for if you're not really if you're not really knowing what you're looking for I'll, you know, unless the record is just absolutely destroyed, uh, but it's, you may not be, you may just look at it and it looks like it's shiny and, you know, that's it. Um, what you're looking for is you kind of want to get the record in a glare. See how that, there's a glare you see from the light? And you can really start seeing, you see like, see that line right there? You can really start to see the scuffs and, the, you know, the marks, see how that? You can kind of see the lines there. You know, that's what you're looking for. Is if you get a whole bunch of really deep scratches when you're looking in the in the glare, and, and they'll be they'll be very very easy to tell. That's the ones you want to stay away from. Is a lot of heavy scratches. Um, this one's really actually in really good shape. Um, there's just some sleeve wear, which is kind of those little scuffs, and there's a lot of dirt. I think a lot of this will come off when I clean them. But you know, see how you can kind of get that glare, and you can see, you can see the scuffs and stuff. Now, now a lot of these out of the, out of the factory will look like that. That's just the way it is. But what you really don't want is a just it, it looks. You don't want it to look like somebody took a weed eater to it. You know, you see these see these scuffs and lines right here. You know that you'll get some. I'll probably get a little bit of crackling from this album. You know, but nothing major. It's just pretty. You know, like it looks a little heavier over here, but this is really dirty too. See how that dirt and Let's see if I can get that better. Yeah, right there. Yeah, this this is a lot of just dirt that'll come off when you clean it. <laughs> but um, overall, that's a really good condition record. I think nice little bathing. Um, we'll get that shaped right up. So, so far so good in this purchase. There, if I, th I think there's nine records. If there's nine albums here, then I got this for a little less than two dollars per. Okay, so the sound in your mind, Willie Nelson. Columbia. It's got the sticker still on it as well. Don't ask me how living in South Texas that, um, you know, this is kind of my first, first go around with, um, Willie Nelson, but, um, I'll admit that it is. All right, so let's check this one out. Okay, so again, let's get that glare. Let's kind of look here and see if we can. So when you go, if you go crate digging or to the record store for the first time and you're looking at used records, see all that dirt right here? See that right there? That's just that's just dirt that'll come right off. This is kind of what you want to do. Get that get the glare from the lights and like that. And just really look at it, make sure you know that the record's not warped. See that? 
That one looks really good. Just some dirt. Whoever had this was took care of his albums. Looks really good. This one almost looks once you get it cleaned, this could be almost a near mint. I mean look how look how great that looks. Yeah, very good. And I'm going to pull one of the... I kind of did this on the mystery unboxing video. Once I'm done with these willies, I'll pull one of the ones that's in really bad shape. So if you're if you're watching this and you're new to shopping for used records, um, I'll show you exactly what not to, what to put away. Okay, Willie Nelson without a song. Let's get some light on that. Again, the inner sleeve original. Looking at this record, I can tell it's like near mint. This is great. Some dirt. See some dirt right there. Just like nothing major, like a fingerprint or something. By the way, I plan on buying um, a record cleaner. You know, like an inexpensive one that... Um, or not buying, but I actually asked for it for Christmas already. So, yeah, there's some dirt down there. But, um, I'll probably put a video up when I get that, if I get that. Because there's definitely a lot of records I need to clean now, especially I've been buying a lot of used ones. <laughs> Overall, really good shape. Just some some little dirt marks. But this, this vinyl, once cleaned, will probably be near mint. This is one of the ones that I read is pretty good. I think I think Stardust was the cover, three disc covers. So Albertson's Lobby, I guess that's the grocery store. Still in the shrink wrap. George on my mind. Vinyl looks good, real good. <laughs> Nothing more than a good bath. Willie Nelson Family Bible with a looks like original price tag of seven dollars and nineteen cents if I had to guess. This is an MCA record. So I'm guessing he's doing
like gospel or hymnals. This record looks like it's in near mint. It just needs a cleaning. And, and family live and this is a gatefold so let's kind of back the light off a little bit scuffs more on this one see that nothing bad though you just get a you'll get a couple of, that's not even a scratch just more just a scuff that might even be dirt on that little line right there it might come off with a wash yeah it's pretty good it's not as per like not quite as finished as the other uh, three or four that we just went through but um but you can see what I'm getting at if you've never looked at records. Yeah, I can get that glare kind of going around it and you can kind of get an idea of what the record looks pretty good on this side. And this side's got a little bit more scuffs. <laughs> Nothing bad. That's a really, really good, really good quality right there. I'll take that all day. I think there's another one in second speed. This is a double album. And again, that's kind of normal. That little, where there's little lines like that. That's just, that's normal. Nothing to worry about. Like I said, I'll show you one in a minute. You'll... After a few attempts, um, if you're new to purchasing records, it won't take you long to figure it out. There's the back cover of that one. It won't take you long. You know, you could go buy a couple of cheap records that are kind of beat up and play them, and you'll get you kind of you can kind of uh, visually see the the surface noise in a sense. So you'll kind of start getting used to like okay. When it looks like this, it's going to sound like this, and you just kind of, you just, it's just like a, you just learn over time how, how it's going to go. And this is the one I actually really was looking for right here. Redheaded Stranger. Cover's got some, you know, a couple little creases, but this is in really good shape. I like the comic book background. That's kind of cool. Apparently everybody, the, the overwhelming majority, was that this is the kind of the album to get for Willie Nelson. Original inner sleeve with the lyrics. I'm really excited to play this one. Let's see how she looks. This is in great shape. I mean, I think out of all of the ones that... Um, all the records that were in this set, I think they they said this was in the worst condition, and I honestly think that this is one of the better condition ones. Um, 
if you're again if somebody's selling this and they don't know and that's kind of one thing you know it's a little little tip to people purchasing on eBay it's always a coin flip because you never know exactly what you're dealing with but with the people that don't know anything about vinyl that are selling them you know they're just they inherited the collection or you know they're just selling off their their old vinyl records um, sometimes you can get like this this is a fantastic condition and they were saying that it was very good it's a very good minus which usually if you're to me very good a very good minus is going to be a pretty surface pretty good amount of surface noise and i don't i think after i clean that up that's going to be almost in mint condition and the last one's pretty paper and by the looks of it when i open this six dollars and 39 cents this is a christmas record Take a look. This looks like a Christmas package. And sure enough, I listen to Meshuga and heavy music. And, um, you know, I'm excited that every time I die and Giraffe Tongue Orchestra is coming out. But I'm a sucker for Christmas music during the holidays. I like the holidays. So this will definitely be played uh, this holiday. Don't judge me. Now this one, see this one's really dirty. I mean this is just, this one probably sat, you know, on somebody's turntable for a year. <laughs> well not literally a year, but, you know, see that, that, there you go right there. I mean that's, that's pretty dirty. <laughs> this one's going to need a nice cleaning because this is just, this, the, the, the vinyl itself looks pretty good but it's just a lot of dirt you can see it not bad though no I mean again a little care and love and um, it'll be back to new again one thing I always thought interesting found interesting about collecting records is there's always a story behind every album and I always like I always like coming across people who are getting rid of their collection. A lot of people just don't have the time and energy to do it anymore. And, um, you know, but when they, when they give them away, it's like, it's like giving away a, you know, letting somebody take their, their family pet and they're just, they don't want to just give it to anybody. They're very, you know, it's very particular about it. And I always tell everybody, Hey, look, it's coming to a good home. You know, I'll take care of your records and I will enjoy them. They're going to get play. And, um, so whoever sold me these, they took care of their albums. They're in really good shape. They all have almost, every one of them has this, the shrink wrap on it and they're in really great shape. I'm going to take care of these, but let me get this last one. So what you don't want to see is that, see all those scratches? I mean, you can even, you're not really supposed to really touch the vinyl, but this is, this is destroyed. I can feel the scratch. Not so much this one, but this one, I, I can rub my finger and I can feel it. But look at the, I mean, just look at the, let's get that glare back. I mean, look how, look at that. You see all those little lines. You see that? This would be one you'd pick up and you want to run away from. I mean, even the gloss. I mean, it looks shiny because I got it in a, I got it in a lamp right next to it. But it's it when looking at it from my point of view, it just it's not. It almost looks like there's like a coating of scratches over the top of it but you can just see i mean just i mean everything about this look at you can see it there's a big scratch right there this is a no-no this came out of that ebay unboxing i did and i'll probably make some sort of decoration or something out of it but yeah look you can just see so um, this may be a 101 for people who are buying uh, 
vinyl records for the first time. Um, shared some tips of mine for eBay. Again, it's it's a crapshoot with eBay. Um, I nothing's guaranteed. Even if somebody, I've I've actually bought albums that people say are in excellent condition, and they come in and they look like this. Um, and then in this case, most a lot of these they said near mint, but a lot of these, you know, especially redheaded stranger, they said were as in basically, you know, okay condition is kind of the way I took it. Okay to good condition, and I'm more thinking it's like, you know great to near mint condition so um again it's it's a crap shoot but um if you don't fork over a lot of money and you're patient you can get some decent stuff and um like i said 16 dollars for, for basically two dollars a piece i got all these and um i'm excited that's a good job so you know again if you're into vinyl and you're going to the record store, use record store for the first time, or you're going to half price books or like a thrift store, you know, this is kind of may help you uh, browse around and find some good deals and uh, good, good condition albums. But sometimes it's just a little experience of getting out there and getting some, you know, not so good copies and kind of listening to what it sounds like and looking at it and you'll kind of start to develop a way to tell them apart a lot easier. But, um, Hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching again, and I'll have more soon.